Hello, so we are back, but this time, yeah, we have a special job because it's uh, the is Jason laptop. You know, Jason is uh, it's it's a guy from the other show. It's a MacBook. It's a new one. Uh, 2018, I think, and it's dead. The laptop just died on his home, yeah, his house. And we have to fix. I will tell you the story with the laptop, yeah. I will tell you the story. So I did open the laptop yesterday. Yeah, so that's the laptop. A1708. EMC3164, yeah? So that's the laptop. Now, you know, we had... Usually we are fixing things on uh, on our videos with no schematic, and uh, yeah, that's his laptop. It's untouched. I haven't done anything, and I will I will tell you what I checked. Let me show you his message. Yeah. So he texts me. I think last Saturday. Yeah. He texts me last Saturday. Sorry, my MacBook just randomly died. It was on maybe five minutes and just switch off completely. It will not power on. I never moved from my desk. It's always plugged on charge. He asked me if I fixed this before. Did you repair this model before? No. This is too new. I don't. I, but we can have a look still, yeah. And he said, okay, I'll bring in Monday. Blah blah blah. And I did have a look on the laptop. And, uh, you know, he tried. He's not like uh, in electronics, but he do fix things. And he asked me, you know, he said, look, I found a schematic on, on eBay. It's five pounds. eBay Canada. Should I buy it? And I said, I don't know. Hey, it's came out, okay, board view also. I said, yeah, buy them, because I have no clue. So, I did check, I did open the laptop, and I said, you know what, let me have a look. And I checked this board. Man, this is from, this is from, uh, this is from like 10 years ahead. <laughs> it's, so, so I, I did try, I, honest, yeah? I did try to figure it out, what's going on here. I can't. You know how it is, when you design something, you have the schematic on your front, yeah, in front of you, and you design the board based on the schematics, or you can just uh, take all the components list, you put the components, and after that, based on the schematics, you do the tracks, and I think that's the way how this board is, is, is done. Because had nothing, like, it's no link. It, it's, it's, it's a mystery. <laughs> so I'm looking on this one and I can't recognize anything, you know. Yeah, you can see here the processor power supplies. Because here, we can see here the SMC. But that's all. So I will say... Probably this is impossible to be fixed without schematics. You know, usually we are using schematics. We are not using schematics for a normal laptop. But not on this one. So Jason bought the schematic. And uh, let's start fix this one. This is his one personal. Yeah. So we, we have to help him. One more thing. What I checked, I checked if I have 3.3 .3 on the keyboard uh, connector, and I don't. So we don't have 3.3 .3 there. That does mean uh, something is is gone there, some power supply, or something is shorted. I have no idea. But I will open the schematics now. 
desktop. Okay. So that's what he got from the seller. So actually the seller sent him more schematic, not only for that model, two more models. So for five pounds, it's a good deal. So we have the schematic. One C one seven zero. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So that's that's the laptop. That's the one. Let me explain you first about the the MacBooks. Not only about the MacBooks, but whatever laptop you have to be fixed, so fix it. Yeah, with the schematics, it's way more easy. Yeah. But on this channel, we just, uh, you know, we try to keep it hard to work without schematics because not always you have the schematic. But this doesn't apply on the Apple laptops. Now here you need schematic. You need the schematics here. It's it's too complicated. It's it's just. It's not like the schematic is complicated, but you cannot like just look on the board and figure it out the schematic, yeah. So okay, I took out the schematic, we have the schematic. We, well, I want to start from the, exactly the way how we start with any normal laptop. Exactly on the same way, starting from the starting with the main power air. Yeah. Where is it? You think the max are different? No, or not? Yeah, that's the beginning. So you see here from USB C source and to the system you see on the other side. So you remember we spoke before. Hopefully you can see the schematic. You remember so we have the charge import and after that we have the first MOSFET, second MOSFET. Okay, here you have two groups. Yeah, you have two double MOSFETs with one coil on the middle. So I suppose this circuit is all, all, also boosting the voltage. Maybe not. So you can see the circuit. Here we have a current sensor, current resistor. Sorry, it's a current resistor because this chip want to know the current which is going from the beginning. Yeah, and after that we have these two dual MOSFETs. Here we have another current resistor. Here we have the MOSFET from the charging machine and this one is going to the battery. Also the chip is uh, is checking the, the current which is uh, going to the battery and probably from the battery. Yeah. Okay. So you see if you know, on the first look looks like it's you know it's simple it's not so complicated. So I want to check on this fuse to see if we have any voltage. And if we have voltage, does mean the these dual MOSFETs they are working fine. And I want to check the 3.3 volts power supply because we have no voltage on the keyboard. The SMC power supply, yeah. So if we have no voltage on the keyboard means we have probably no voltage on the SMC. We have no voltage on the SMC from two reasons. One, it's shorted. And second, the power supply which is supplying power for SMC is dead. So it's easy, it's not it's it's it's, it's, it's not nothing different compared with other laptops. Like what we face. The only hard part is you cannot rec recognize the circuit. Okay, let's say that's the input. Okay, where is the input? Where is that? Where are the du dual MOSFETs? You know, that's hard. Or maybe, maybe it's hard because I don't know. It's hard, whatever you don't know. When you know, it's easy. 
so yeah let's say it's easy but i don't know too many about this uh, this macbook i never fixed this i never opened this macbook before but this is a new one so yeah okay i'll leave the laptop on one side because we have the charger so let's start yeah we don't need the macbook we leave it on one side All what we need, we need a charger. And Jason gave me the charger. So we do have the charger. We don't need this. We have the board. Okay, let's go closer. Huh? Good, good, and I need a board view because the seller also sent the the board view. Uh, I think, let me open the board view software. Open. You see, now it's easy. Now it's easy. Now we can see. We can check. Let's go on the other side. Let's start from the SMC. No, SMC. Start from there. Hmm. No, or not. Let's start first from this uh, this fuse F seven thousand. I just want to see if we have voltage there and what voltage do we have there so that's the fuse and the fuse is on this side Let me switch. Yeah, that's the fuse there. Okay, so let's see if we have any voltage on the fuse. We'll plug the charger. <coughs> it's no hard, it's no hard. Just using schematics, it will take you a little bit more time. Because, yeah. 20 volts microscope so that's the fuse on that fuse we should have probably I don't know <laughs> I don't even know I haven't checked so multimeter this multimeter which is on screen So we have zero. Okay, that's bad. Hmm. That's bad. So we have no voltage. Let's check before. So let's check here. Uh, how can I zoom this one? 
R7022 7022 Yeah, that's the one where it is It's on this side. So what's wrong here? Okay, I did found it. Okay, 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 we're fine. Good. So let's check on that one if we have any voltage. I'm sorry, I'll be a little bit slow. Because, uh, you know, I have to be careful. As I'm not so good with the MacBooks, because we don't have too many back MacBooks here. So let's see, that's the chip, yeah? I don't know what chip is, and probably are that dual MOSFETs, probably. And we have the current sensor there, the current resistor. Let's see, ground. And is this one. This one, yeah. And we have 5 volts. Why we have 5 volts there? It's not too low? Really? USB-C These MOSFETs are boosting the voltage up from 5 volts. I don't understand.
5.1 and on that fuse we have nothing what happened with my multimeter volts ground plus zero volts we have no voltage nothing okay Okay, let's go search for the So this is communicated with SMC so if it's communicated with the SMC, SMC should be on. And the SMC will be on only if the 3.3 volts uh, uh, power supply is on. And the 3.3 volts power supply is... Okay, this is 5 volts, 3.3 But these are the big ones Is the one 3v3 free free, The hot one Sorry. I'm trying to find the 3.3 volts power supply. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, let's check this one. I just want to find the output L6995 6995 uh, It's the other side of the board there, okay, let's have a look here. So, here we should have 3.3. Okay, there, let's see. Three point three and we don't have three point three. For some reason we don't have three point three.
if it's not 3.3 .3 here, we have this double diode, and I know this is a common issue with this double diode. D6905. I seen it there. That's the double diode. And we have nothing on the input here. And we do have 5 volts here. So this should be able to switch even with 5 volts. Okay? Oh, sorry, you can't see. This is a double diode. One diode like that, one diode like that. Then we have 5.1. On the other one we have 0 because the... The thing is not switching. And the output, the output is 1.2, but it's not hot. Okay, so keep in mind, this is the power supply for the SMC. So this is on all the time. It should be on even right now. It's not on. We have 5 volts on one side, on this side, because this one is bus G3H, which is uh, which is this one, which is zero. So we do check. Uh, how can I move this? I can't move it. That's insane. Okay, this one, we check, it's on the fuse, yeah? The bus G3H, which is zero, we don't have voltage. So obviously it will not be voltage here, here. So we have voltage from this one, DC in. Here we have 5 volts. On, on the output, we have one volt. Now, my question is, why do we have one volt there? 1.2 or how much it was? Because the diode is not coming, it's not hot. I checked. So, logical speaking, we have a short here, or our diode is dead, but I think our diode is dead, because if you'll be sure, this will be very hot, the diode will be hot. Or we have a short, and the short kill the diode. Okay, let's do something else, yeah? Let's do something else. I'll take out the charger, I took out the charger. Let's try... And check a little bit this power supply. So most of the faults are on this power supply which is on all the time or on the on the input part with that dual MOSFETs even though I don't understand why it's only 5 volts you know it's supposed to boost the, the voltage that 5 volts because obviously in the laptop it will not work with 5 volts But we are going ahead with what we have. What we have right now, we have 5 volts on one side of the diode, and the other side we have nothing. So what I will do, I will take my power supply, power supply, and I will come with 5 volts, exactly 
after that diodes, yeah? 5 volts Let's see what we have there Five volts. Let's say like one amp. Uh, we I don't, I don't want to damage anything here. So ground. And here. And it's taking one point eight amps. Yeah, you can see there. One more time. One point eight amps, and the other side we have one point six volts. And clear there is a short. Let's see. Oh, for some reason I'm so... Oh, I need some sleep. Okay. Diode mode. Diode mode ground. And we do have a short 0 0.073 you can see on the multimeter this compared with the ground so something is shorted here but it's unbelievable you know this is not an old laptop so how here can be something shorted hopefully it's not the cheap because i have no spares no so how is possible to have on a laptop like this like one like two years old laptop to have something shorted, huh? Even Apple goes bad. They are going in the wrong direction using cheap components. Okay, let's uh, use some uh, petrol, Zippo petrol, and let's find out where is our short. Yeah. But I need, yeah, so this is connected to plus, my tweezer. So what is getting hot? It's, it's taking current? Yeah, it's taking current. What is getting hot? The diode itself. That's not good. One second, that's the output of the diode. I don't want to do anything wrong here. Pin number three. Pin number three, yeah. So how the diode can get hot. I don't get it. The diode, it's on this side, yeah. The plus is not going up. The plus can only come from here or from here, but it's not going up, so how the diode can get hot? Huh? You know what I mean? How the diode can get hot if the diode is on the, with, uh, with the plus here? So the current is not going on that direction, can come only from there here. I don't think the diode is good. Let's remove that diode. Let's remove it. Something is not okay here. Hmm. Yeah, that's funny. But still, something is not okay. How the diode? Let's say the diode is shorted. Why here on this side I have low resistance? Low resistance. Maybe something else is gone. The diode is out. Trust me, I don't even have something like that. So I don't know how I will replace this double diode. I don't have another one. 
Da și cu de un ultimitor. It's a diode mode. And here we are fine. Here is fine. And here is fine. That's insane. So our diode is dead. Zero point two is fine. Yeah, our diode is dead. I think is that zero nine. Zero two. Okay, this is shorted. It's it's going on a both direction. I think. You know what? I'm wasting time. Okay, let's check with the power supply. Five volts. Let's check now. Five volts here. Oh. We have short. So look here, yeah? Here and it's short. Okay. You think the diode is good still? Check one more time. I hear nothing, and it's good. Nothing. Hear nothing. Here, zero point two. Here, zero point nine. Yeah, the diode is gone. One diode. One diode is gone. I can still use the second one. Let's see where is the short here. Yeah? Five volts again. Yeah, it's taking power. Oh, I can't see anything here to get hot. So I did come with the power supply here with 5 volts. And nothing is getting hot. If will be a short here, the chip will get hot, but the chip is not getting hot. So must be one of these two capacitors. Six six nine nine zero. File. A uh, control F. Sorry, control F. Why is not working? Okay. C. Six nine nine zero. It's on the other side of the board. It's on the other side of the board. Let's have a look. So the capacitor, it's on the other side here. That capacitor looks dodgy to me. Huh?
it doesn't look like a capacitor, it looks like a resistor. And the normal color of a capacitor is like that. Yeah? But this one is like that. And with multimeter, I check with multimeter, diode mode. It's not even showing me like it's shorted, it's not. So this is, it's, if you check with the multimeter, yeah, doesn't look like it's shorted ohms. So what do we have? 213 ohms, you can see on the multimeter. Hopefully this is the capacitor. Let me check one more time on the board view. Yeah, that's the one. I think. Yeah, it must be this one. Okay. Okay. So let's try and come with the uh, 5 volts on that capacitor. Let's see. 5 volts. That's ground. And yeah, it's normal. And that's pl oh, uh, look at the capacitor. And just keep in mind, this capacitor has 200 ohms. Yeah? This is crazy, it's insane. You can see? It's smoking and it's getting very hot quickly. You know what is insane? It's insane because this is not a normal laptop. This is a MacBook, which is very, very expensive. Yeah? So, obviously, when you pay this money, you expect, like, something, something you know, you expect, like, like, a top quality components. You know what I mean? So, I think on my head, you know, I'm thinking, yeah? Okay, they ask for this kind of money because probably they use like high quality components and the high quality components are expensive. You know, you know that, that thing, you know, it's worth how much you paid for, yeah? Okay. The capacitor is out and I'll not replace it. It's one more there. And it's okay. But on a MacBook, on a new MacBook, like two years old MacBook, a shorted capacitor. This is crazy. Hmm? What do you think? Okay, now we have another problem. I don't have diode. So let's try now with 5 volts there. Let's try now with 5 volts there. Let's see, 5 volts. Ground. And how much is taking? Nothing, absolutely nothing. zero which is okay it's fine so it's not short anymore but we need two diodes so actually the weakest point is not a diode the diode died because of that capacitor which goes shorted funny 
Funny enough, funny. We need a double diode or two diodes. But you know what? Uh, I don't know if they are double diodes. We need to diodes. This is crazy. On these days, you cannot even find diodes on the on, on a motherboard. So probably I have to take an old motherboard where I can find some diodes. Hmm. Okay, I found here two diodes. Oh, we are fine. We are good. So let's see. You know what? I don't even care what diodes are. I just need some diodes. Just you know, there there is like a hundred, two hundred milliamps, so it's not so much current. So we'll take these two diodes. That's one. Yeah, that's one. I'll leave it on the keyboard. And that's the second one. Okay, the second one is gone. So it's not anymore. I hate these things, you know. Now we need another diode. We lost one. And now you will see the funny part. I can't find another one. No diode. Okay, I found one here. I don't know what diode is, but it looks fine to me. Yeah, that's fine. That's great. So we have two diodes. Let's hold the, the diodes here. Let me use some flux. Use the solder iron. So this is a MacBook with Toshiba diodes. That's great. Now the hard part is to solder the diodes, yeah? Because the diodes can jump quickly and you can lose them again. So that's a diode. That must be with a plus on this side. 
like that. Yeah. I just need space for the other diet. Ah. This is crazy. Okay, found it. Yeah, we are okay. It's how this is possible? The second time I lost the diet. The second time. I found it again. Less air. Okay, let's try less air. The air is like minimal right now. Okay, that's a diet. And the second one. How do I solder the second one? Because I can't see here too much space. I don't know if that joint is together with the other one, but I'll check with the multimeter. Dial mode. This. No, it's not. So this is not together. Okay, Houston, we have a problem. Yeah, but a diet can be like that. Huh? Or it's too dodgy. Yeah, the diet can be like that. You don't know what I'm trying to do. I want to solder the solder iron, but they will not... Okay. Okay. Yeah, now we have a bridge. So I can't believe there's no space there to put two diets. That's fine, it's no bridge anymore.
that should be fine. That's good. That's fine. So it's not making short under. That's fine. Well, okay. That's fantastic. What do you think? Huh? What do you think? Should be fine. Let's try and plug the let's try and plug the charger. <laughs> yeah? and check the 3.3 volts charger is plugged, no smoke, that's good volts ground check the multimeter on the screen, 3.4 you can see there 3.4 so our uh, 3.3 volts power supply is working fine yeah okay I'll take out yeah this is, this is warm so the laptop already start but just um, you know just an idea to see how a stupid fault like, this is stupid you know to have shorter cap let let me explain you so this capacitor <coughs> Yeah. So we have we found this capacitor shorter. Uh, yeah, you can see it. Yeah. Two point two micro, thirty five volts. Now listen to me. You don't have thirty five volts on this laptop. You know that's that's insane. So it's not like you reach the max voltage of this capacitor and the capacitor goes shorted. No. No bad quality component yeah for a normal laptop even for a normal laptop okay if i take any laptop it's even if you find shorted captions okay yeah that's that's normal it's not normal it's a capacitor it's not like a you know a semiconductor died i don't know what's too pressure on it no it's just a capacitor it's insane I don't get it, you know, because this laptop, <laughs> this laptop is a fortune, you can pay like 2000 for a laptop like that. Obviously, if it's not 2000, it's nearly 2000. Hmm? I didn't find too many capacitors shorter on the MacBook. So that's, that's, it's, it's something new, especially on a new board. This is a new one. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. So what I will expect from the rest of the manufacturer, you know, the hundred pounds laptop. What I should expect for a hundred pound laptop? 
if this laptop, like 2000 pound laptop, it has shorted capacitors. Don't get me wrong, I mean, I'm an Apple user, I have same uh, same laptop 15 inch one at home, so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a user, but I'm just surprised, you know, the... the You are you are the manufacturer. Yeah? You are the manufacturer. What do you think first? My capacitor will go shorted. And you know the funny part. The funny part is there is no switching. On that power rail, where it, where the capacitor dies, no switching. Maybe switching before the diode, but not right there. That's why I don't understand how how this capacitor can die like that. Okay. So let's try to put the board back and uh, see it's working, it's not working, we have picture, it's alive. You know, I'm, I'm happy if that chip was dead, the SMC, it's just, you know, just go and buy another laptop. Okay, let me just be sure I put all the things. Where is this cable? Well, this cable is from the speaker, yeah? Yeah, okay. These are the Wi Fi antenna. I'll connect the battery after. This is the other speaker. Okay, the charger. The fan is spinning. Wait, I haven't plugged the screen, sorry. Hey, it's plugged now. Okay. Why is no picture? What we forgot? Hmm? This is okay. This is okay. This is okay. Let me connect this.
is the wrong screwdriver. Yeah, the screwdriver is not the right one. Yeah, that's the one. Should be fine. The battery is charged. I think the battery is not charged, well, let me check. Minus, where is that fuse? And that fuse we have right now 12 volts. So that 12 volts we have, let's see 3.3, .3, yeah we have 4.7. What am I doing wrong here? Oh. Yeah, let's take out this. I think my bench multimeter just died, but it's not dying, but it's showing me different things. Let me call Jason and ask him something. One second. One second. Yeah, well, you can watch it yeah, I'll upload to YouTube. Yes. Uh, I've got a number, you know they have a MacBook that's there? Yeah. I've got a bias chip, you can do another video for that. Okay, yeah, yeah, I will, yeah. yeah I just need to have a phone to someone now, so I just need to finish this call and then I'll come over and see you. Yeah. Yo, Jay, I want, I want my cut, man, you know? I, I want my, uh, you know, I want my lunch break. My, my lunch. On my lunch break. How else was, did you eat that? No, yet. But I want something good. I looked and there's nothing in the high seat so far. Maybe I can get you some chat. Let me, let me come over in a minute, so Let's do this phone call. Yeah, let's go to that Chinese uh, new shop. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. bye. Okay, cool, cool. Bye. Yeah. Yeah, Jason is happy. Yeah, we have the folder sign on the screen. Let me check one more time with this multimeter. So on that point, yeah, the laptop is on. 
it's on here. Yeah? We have the folder sign. We have nineteen volts. So you know from where I take that capacitor out and I didn't replace it, so we have nineteen. Which is fantastic, is which is great. So if we have 19, how those how that capacitor died if the capacitor is, is rated to 35 volts? Hmm? Poor quality, you know, poor quality. Okay, so I'll stop this video. You know, I'll leave Jason to put all back together. But anyway, it's working. We fix it, and now I can have my lunch break. Obviously, Jason, it will pay for my lunch. Oh, it's okay, it's good. Yeah, he took the hard drive out. I asked him, that's why I called him. But it's interesting, yeah? So, if you have this uh, laptop and you have to fix it, just. Uh, Check your 3.3 .3 volts power supply, which is probably you know what, probably it's cold hot because it's meant to die. Look, the output is 300 milliamps, so it's not, it's nothing here to get hot or something like that. It's, it, it's just a it's nothing under the pressure to say like okay it's the things are getting hot here it's not it's 300 milliamps but yeah probably they that they name it hot because it's meant to die anyway check this one first you have two diodes here because the voltage which is coming from here is not supposed to go on this side it's supposed to go only on this side or the voltage from this side is not supposed to go on this side, it's supposed to go over here, yeah? So this, even if you have 5 volts, you see we have 5 volts on, uh, on the laptop, it's on S5 state. We have 5 volts and when it's on S0 state, we have uh, 19 volts, okay? Obviously on the output must be 3.3 .3 or 3.4, yeah? Oh yeah, unit schematics. You know that's, that's that's you can't figure it out otherwise. It's a small board. Everything is small. Yeah. Well, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, and see you on the next one. Yeah. Bye.